Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Field Trips Vlog. So if you've been following along with the vlog, you know that I missed last week's episode. I said I would post a fishing video every Tuesday and a vlog episode every Thursday, and last Thursday I did not post anything. And while I'm sure this will not be the last vlog episode that I miss, this time I have a pretty legitimate excuse. I have been hiding out from Hurricane Irma. So I currently live in Cape Coral, Florida. That's in Southwest Florida. The eye of Irma basically went right over our house. And so I was scheduled to fly back home the day before the storm. Decided that flying into a hurricane was not a good survival tactic. So instead I hit up one of my best friends in the world, Jake Fuller and his older brother, Josh Fuller. They're basically like brothers to me and they were gonna be in Denver. I figured Denver is probably about as hurricane proof as it gets. So I rerouted, changed plans, and headed to Denver, Colorado to wait out the storm. So I was gonna post some clips of the devastation that hurricanes Irma and Harvey have caused, but I know you guys have all seen that. I mean, unless you're living under a rock, you know the devastation that these two storms have caused people in both Texas and Florida and the Caribbean islands. So instead of that, I just wanna tell you guys, ask you guys, plead to you guys, skip your Starbucks tomorrow, get a cheaper lunch, pack your lunch, Whatever you gotta do, please donate a few bucks to some of the great causes out there that are trying to raise money for these people that have lost literally everything. So there are two links below in the description of this video. Um, they are organizations that I trust to donate to that, that do those dollars will actually go to the cause that we're, we're trying to give them to. So we here in Cape Coral, we're pretty lucky. We got about 120 mile an hour sustained winds at our house. Uh, my roommate and his fiance and their daughter stayed, but they're okay, our house is okay. They put up hurricane uh, you know, metal shutters and sandbags and really no worse for the wear, but you can see some of the damage that it caused. This is right here in our backyard, our neighbor's fence. And really in the grand scheme of things, we didn't even get hit that hard. So um, yeah, if you can, donate a few bucks. I cannot tell you how much it would mean to some of these people that have lost literally everything. So for this episode, I'm gonna do something a little different than I had planned. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing while I was in Denver. Uh, I'm a big believer in you know making the best of any bad situation. And so rather than sitting around and sulking and worrying and being upset that I couldn't get any work done, we decided to get out into nature. I uh, think of no better way to distract yourself from the problems of our world and our society than to get out there amongst the wildlife, the trees, and the mountains in this case. Just gonna take your mind off things and enjoy mother nature. So uh, here's a quick clip of some of the other stuff that we've been doing here in Denver before we get into our big hike. Nice! Going in the vlog. Get my good side. Just act natural. That's it. Oh, natural. <laughs> right here at Harvard Gulch Golf Course. Let's play a $12 game of golf. Nice, dude. Nice. Nice. All right, so we had a little fun hike uh, around Chatfield Lake, but fish were not biting. And so hold that line, just mm -hmm. like you are, and then open that up and just keep your finger on it. Nice. So we just walked up on this. We thought it was driftwood, but it's actually a raft someone made. So Josh and Jake asked me what I wanted to do while I was in Denver, and surprise, surprise, I wanted to go fishing. <laughs> well, they're not big fishermen by any means. They wanted to do some hiking, so around midnight, we pulled up a map to see if we couldn't find a spot where we could do both. And we finally settled on the James Peak Wilderness, and specifically the Crater Lakes chain up on top of the mountain. So we decided to head out there. We heard a rumor there were some brook trout there. I've never caught a brook trout, and you know me. Nothing I love more than catching new species. So we threw some random stuff in a backpack, hit the road for the mountains to see if we couldn't put me on my first brook trout. Check it out and see how we do. Y'all are way over thinking. All right, so we're doing this kind of last minute hiking, camping trip, uh, stopping here at REI, right by Jake's house. Let's get some last minute supplies. What all do we need, bro? Lantern. Lantern. Uh, purify water. Lantern. Headlamp. Black diamond. They make good stuff. I'm a fan. I'm gonna try that. Is that enough light? Know. This is like. That's a really. Bucks. That looks weak, dude. What? 240 limit. It's weak. Light it up. Would it like. Light it up. Yeah, We're in Colorado. Light it up. It doesn't light up. But... It's just hanging in the tent. It light up the whole tent. What about outside? Yeah, when we're chilling. We need that stuff. 
freaking out. <laughs> Garbage. How much is that? Like 30 bucks. Where are they? But it's, it's all over here. I actually need a new headlamp, dude. I'm not buying one. Black diamond, but these they say waterproof, but couple. get a couple. You want to get me a couple? My birthday's coming up. When is your birthday? October 12th, man. Hook it up. Well, we got our last bit of supplies from REI. I we just got to grab some grub, pack up, go hit the trails. Got about an hour and a half drive into the mountains. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> We're hanging out here at Confluence Park. Oh, cash only. Can't get a hot dog. This is a little man-made whitewater section so that people can test out kayaks right here in the Platte River. Jake said there would be no fish here in the Platte River because we're so close to Denver and there's literally like a hundred fish that we're staring at right now. They're fake. They're fake. I know it's hard to see, but way down there we got guys kayaking, probably about to come down and hit this. And then right behind them over there is Mile High Stadium where the Denver Broncos play. A little bit of urban kayaking right here in the middle of Denver. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a car, dude. Love you, bye. Adios, come on now. Bye. <laughs> Y'all ready to do this? Y'all ready to do this? Jake's got the heaviest load. <laughs> Take one for the team. Makes sense because I got the biggest muscles. That's what it is. That's how it works. <laughs> we got to go to the grocery store and then a fishing store to buy hey, a rod and reel and tackle and everything we need to catch fish in a place a, we don't know anything about. Look up a fishing store. Look up like a Walmart store. or something. Walmart would be a great place to go. We could get everything we need in one stop. I mean, can I get something good? Because I don't, don't want to spend hundred bucks. I don't want something that's trash. You probably can't even spend hundred bucks there. You probably spend like sixty or seventy, and you'd be fine, huh? All right, okay. You'll be fine. I trust you. You know more than me about this shit. I'm trying to narrate, man. I'm just trying to narrate. I want people to believe that your episode is smart and not dumber like normal. <laughs> All right, so we didn't have any fishing gear, so we just picked up a little ugly stick GX2. About to spool it up with some eight pound mono. So we got something to try to catch some fish in these lakes we're gonna be hiking to. Also picked up some small light tackle stuff. Got some power bait, little swim baits, even smaller swim baits if they're being real finicky. Can never go wrong, a little marabou jig, anything will hit this, bass, trout, whatever. And you got a rooster tail, a little blue fox. This stuff works pretty well for a little trout or even bass will hit that. to uh, come hike and camp at. It's about 30 minutes on this dirt road. It took us an hour and a half from Denver. Since it's a holiday weekend, everyone's gonna be real crowded. So we tried to get a little bit off the beaten path to make sure there's room. It's not gonna be a bunch of people there. Glad to be there, we'll see. Hope it's not too crowded. And that's where we're headed. I kinda got a poop. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Are we, are when we, nature are, calls, are man. we live? <laughs> are we live? <laughs> yeah, we're live. Yeah. This is a better place to poop than on the trail. So yeah, highly well, recommend it. What do you mean? Well, I don't know. Don't poop on the trail. Permits are and not, we made it. Permits are not required. Not too shabby. Good choice. I'm already tired. I'm already tired. God, hey, shh, shh. there's a moose right there. Oh, dude, she's got a calf. No way.
We have Reese Fork in the road. Pretty sure it's left. The old pretty sure it's left. That's what you want to hear from your navigator. <laughs> so open your mouth and suck on it. You gotta bite it a little bit, just a tip. Zoom out. Just the tip. <laughs> All right, so what's the plan? Where are we at? White All right, check this out. Just, just in case wine, something yeah. happens to me, you guys know. <laughs> just in case something happens to me. Uh, All right, so this is the trail that we started out at. We hiked up and that uh, fork we just passed was right here to go to we're Forest Lakes. Right. So we're gonna take the next right fork to go up to Crater Lakes, or we could go up to Heart Lake. That's probably another two Let's miles further. He said the yeah, he said Crater and, was we, good we for brookies. We want to get to the lake and, and get we can you fish. Know, yeah. Get a lure in the water. Let's go. Let's go to Crater. Yeah, let's go to Crater. He said the brookies are biting. Yeah, probably 10 minutes in, I was like, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah. But yeah, hit my stride now. I'm feeling all right. Yeah, focusing on my breathing is definitely helping make up for the altitude. How high up are we right now? 11,000 feet. 11,000 feet? Okay. Yeah. Hello. For sure. Thinner. The air is thinner. Feeling it. How you feeling, Josh? It's not bad, but you can like catch your breath and yeah, you know it's ninety percent mental. Ninety percent mental, just like it's all about those micro goals, you know. That's it. Get to the next one. Boulder. I'm there. One step at a time. I got that in my mind. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Yeah. One bite at a time. Oh, Grand, use a water bottle. Weirdo. Yeah, he Second just likes it. Tube. He just likes sucking on yours. <laughs> Banana chocolate peanut butter. The cliff bars are on sale for 99 cents. You stock up. Thank you, REI, for the clearance. Heading to Crater Lakes. Got about a mile to go, about 30 minutes probably at this pace. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Man, not as in shape as I once was. <laughs> About to hit 30. Starting to feel it. I like these kind of hikes where you do the miles in a dirt road in the car. Like to get out into the wild. Yeah. Like a lot of places you'd have to walk that dirt road. Nah, take we, a week to get here. We out here, bro. <laughs> yeah. We are out here. I mean, signs up, we were in the wilderness. Yep, it's official. When the sign says you're in the wilderness, it's how you know you're in the wilderness. Signs don't lie. That's the lake right there, I bet. All right, so we passed the first lake. It's a little bit smaller. Came to the second lake. There's three in a row. The second one's supposed to be a lot bigger. It's right here in front of us. It looks beautiful. Let's set up camp here. Hike up there for sunrise. Yeah. I'm not gonna say that quail, dude. It's gonna hurt. I'm definitely swimming. There's a trout right there. Dude, there's like five right here. Yeah. Six, eight. A million. Dude, there's so many fish. We can catch these fish, bro. There's a fish right here. Look. Yeah. See the GoPro in. There's a trout right there. Yeah. There's a trout swimming right there. Dude. This is gonna be easy, bro. We're gonna catch some fish. Let's go. Let's go. That guy all smacked these. Right over there. Tails. Look at that. Meadow. Look at him, dude. He's just chilling. Look at this guy. Hey, buddy. Look at this guy. Looks like a pretty good spot. We gotta be 100 feet from the water. Set up camp. It's nice and flat. All right, well, you want to go see if we can't get some fish before we lose the light? Let's do it.
What? I don't ditch that. I overcast and I can throw it too hard and just pull that. Yeah, I gotta pick it out. Don't just pull on it. It's called a uh, wind knot. The best thing you can do is pull up on the rod so that it's taut before you start reeling. Is this Look at this. Dope? Look at this. Cast of the day. Jesus, dude. <laughs> wow. Pull it from the end. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, worse. That's dumb. Yeah, close that. Oh, yeah. Close that. <laughs> Sorry. Should have specified. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard with a really light line like this, man. I'll come help you. Don't. Just don't. Oh, God. Oh, my God. We have to cut all that off. You ain't fishing, you ain't catching, boys. You ain't fishing right now. I'm going home. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Let me do one more cast. I just want to fish a little bit if y'all don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those fish. Dude, they're jumping clean out of the water and catching flies in the air. I have never seen anything like that. God, these guys are jumping right there. I'm casting where they're at. Hey, I'm on. Okay, hey, I'm on. Look at that. Beautiful little brook trout on my fourth cast. Look at that guy. Nice. Fourth cast just got out here. Already hooked up. My first brook trout ever. Beautiful fish. Look at this. That is so that pretty, guy, dude. Dude. Oh, oh. dude, in your five minutes, I already got our first fish. I've never caught a brook trout in my life. That was awesome. There's like that, this little ridge line of rocks. It bit right on those rocks, yeah. Simple rooster tail. Pretty universal lure. Catch fish, catch fish anywhere, whether it's trout or largemouth bass or salmon, bluegill, pretty much anything will hit a rooster tail. It's super simple. It's got a little treble hook, some feathers, and a little blade for some flash. We're losing the light, so a little flash may help. I always like to use a gold blade when uh, it's low light or overcast or something like that. And I like a silver blade when it's sunny. Just kind of a general rule, definitely not a hard rule. It changes from time to time, but. That's usually what I'll start with, so. Jake cast this like three times and messed it up so bad I had to cut it off. Never seen a bird's nest like that in my life. And uh, try a little different bait. He's using what I was using a minute ago. I just caught that first brook trout. Pretty cool to catch my first brook trout. Um, you know, four casts into the trip. Pretty crazy. Not to new species off the list. No clue what I'm doing out here. <laughs> pretty sweet, but let's see. We can't get a couple more before the sun goes down. Bite at night too, but it'd be a lot harder to film at night. Let's see if we can. I'll try to get one more, see if we can figure out a little better, and then Josh will try to get you on one more. Oh, there we go. Fish, fish. Get that little rooster tail I just tied on. So that is my second. Yes, oh, second brook trout. Beautiful, beautiful species. <sighs> really fun on these super light tackle four pound test line. Look at the spots on that guy. Beautiful coloration. What an incredible little fish. That's two of them I'm caught now. It's actually the second freshwater trout I've ever caught my whole life. So I mean, that tells you how much I'm, I know what I'm doing out here. Uh, but they are hungry. We're seeing them jump all over. We're seeing them jump clean and out of the water to catch flies that are flying over the water. Really cool to see. There you go. And there he goes. Obviously he didn't like being on camera. Yeah. Well, hey, been out here fishing for like 20 minutes, caught my first two brook trout. Haven't got a clean release yet, but uh, man, that is fun. That's a lot of fun. We gotta get you on one, Josh. Crater Lakes. Beautiful. They biting. They biting. Beautiful fish, man. This place is incredible, guys. Yep. Like, what a spot. Just kind of winged this, figured it out a few days before we got here. I wasn't even supposed to come to Denver three days ago. <laughs> Came out here on a whim, picked a spot last night at two in the morning. And here we are. It's amazing. Just beautiful, I can't wait for sunrise. 
go try to get some more fish. We're gonna hike up to the, the higher lake, right? Upper Crater Lake. Can you take me? <laughs> Can we play that in the <laughs> uh, I think that's the second time you've sung that song today. It's a good one. We need to do this more often, man. There's no substitute for coming out to a place like this. Incredible. Cozy. <laughs> Dude, I mean, we're pretty, pretty yeah, ready. This is nice, dude. Most people don't carry this type of tin out here. <laughs> Hot dogs are legs. <laughs> Second time. <laughs> <laughs> Such a big ass lineup. <laughs> but I have this thing. Hopefully, we don't get visits from any bears. So we out here, and they out here. <laughs> So, out here at first light, the boys are still sleeping. Uh, I just had to come out here, see if the bite was any good here first thing in the morning. Uh, got a little chillier than I think any of us planned last night. Uh, I got down to about 40. Not too terrible, but like I said, I just had to come out here, see if the fish were biting. So, start making a few casts, see if we can't get on them. Well, the fish aren't cooperating this morning, but in a place like this, it's hard to be mad about it. We're about to hike up to the third lake, which is uh, almost all the way to the top of that ridge. Uh, we're hoping it'll kind of warm us up, get up in the sun. Uh, but we got to go around this lake first that we caught the fish out of last night and find the trail to head up there. And it's pretty good ways up there. Uh, looks like straight up, kind of like the second half of this hike. So, <sighs> go see what we can find up there, do a little fishing. We got to hike with those rods now, too. I was about to say, we need to break those down and put them on your bag. Grab our fishing rods. We're going to get going. Let's do it. I'm already out of breath. She's getting pretty close out of water. We're gonna fill this up. We got some tabs you can put in it to purify it. Make sure we don't get sick. Dude, I cannot get enough of all these waterfalls. It's just amazing. We're climbing pretty much straight vertical from camp. We're already a good 500 feet above the lake that we camped at. You see it down there, kinda. We still got a ways to go. The other two lakes we're going to are up there. Obviously that's where this waterfall's coming from. You already do it? Dude, look at that view. Absolutely breathtaking. Ow, ow, ow. This stuff hurts. Guys, there's a bigger lake up here. So this is what, the fourth lake in this little chain? Oh yeah. Dude. You can see there it's real shallow and then a little bit past those boulders, there's a drop off. It's too windy to fish up here, man. I can barely cast. Yeah, dude, that's a marmot. A marmot, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had signs about them down there. I, I don't. I don't really know anything about him. <laughs> that marmot was cool. Dude. That thing was pretty big. It looks like it looked like a beaver yeah. teeth. You know, in this day and age, I feel like there's always some reason to stress and worry. There's always some new natural disaster, or people are killing each other for no reason. And I really can't help but feel like the best remedy for that, the best solution for that, is to take some time to get away from society get back out into nature. It is the absolute best way to take your mind off all the negativity on social media and CNN and wherever else. Josh, you, you've never looked this cool in your life. <laughs> and we made it back to the bottom. Uh, 
Oh, I can't wait to get these shoes off. <laughs> I see. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. There is some Reese's oh. Pieces. Cheers. Cheers. It's a good trip. Well, we were truly winging it with this trip. Figured out where we were gonna go about two in the morning the night before we left. Turned out to be pretty sweet all in all. Yeah, great. It's like that's a good lesson. You don't always have to plan stuff six months ahead of time. Just pick something that looks cool online. Go check it out. Yep. Odds are it will be cool. James Peak Wilderness, highly recommended. It's part of Roosevelt National Forest. Absolutely beautiful. And no permit required. Yeah, no permit to, to camp overnight. <laughs> And if I can catch a brook trout there, anyone can. Except me. Except for me. Except for these two guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I think we're gonna go get uh, some Burgers. greasy <laughs> food and probably some beers. Yes. That's gonna do it for this episode of Field Trips Vlog. I need a nap. <laughs> <laughs>